Sometimes when using the whole wizard, you need a whole size that isn't in the default list. We're going to look at two methods to create the new whole size. What we're going to look at is the whole wizard here, and we see that our whole sizes, they give us a good list of standard holes that most people will use, but there's always some additional holes that we may need. What we're going to look at is how we can add those holes. The first step in creating custom holes is to open up the toolbox configuration tool. So how we do that, we go to the tools menu, we click on toolbox, and we select configure. What this does, this will open up the toolbox configuration tool to the home screen. In this home screen, we need to select either the whole wizard from the main dialog in the middle, or you can choose from the one up here in the top. This gives us a list of all of our standards that exist in the whole wizard. Today we're going to look at ANSI inch because that's what our part is in. We're going to expand out to tapped hole. And we're going to look, first thing we're going to look at is the legacy way of creating new holes. In the past, you've had to click on this new, add new size button. This brings up a dialog where you have to enter in your size, pitch, diameter, and name to match. The next step will be go to the thread data table, click on the same plus side, and enter in all your size and more specific thread information. So now let's take a look at the new method in 2018. In 2018, they introduced the ability to import and export this data to Excel to make it easier to work in with the data and add new information. Our first step is exporting the whole table. We're going to export it to a location. What happens at this point is going to take that thread data that exists inside the toolbox and export it out to Excel to allow it make it easier for us to work with it. Now that's been exported, I'm going to open up this Excel file. As we can see here, what Excel, what they've done is they've placed the, the size data in one table and the thread data in another table. What we're interested in today is a hole size of a 312. It's a pretty good size hole, but for us, what we find out when we look at the data inside of SOLIDWORKS is that SOLIDWORKS actually provides much more thread data than what they provide on the size area. So in this instance, we don't have to actually enter in all this thread data. We can see everything's here that we want to use. The one thing that we have to pay attention with in any toolbox customization is this full sized column. The full size column has to match the size column in the size table. That's the one rule that has existed either in the legacy and or this new method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, I'm going to find the one I want to add. I see that in that full size, the name is 3-12. Gives it a little bit more information. What I'll do is switch over to the sizes table. I will take the last row and copy it down by pressing Control D. And then I'm going to change this information here to match the information on the thread data side. So 3-12. 12 for the pitch, and 3 for the diameter. Now that I've entered my new data, I need to make sure that I hit save. Now that I've edited the data inside of Excel, saved the table and closed Excel, my next step is going to be to re-import that data back into the toolbox configuration tool. So what I do is I come in here, instead of export, I choose import whole table data. I select the table I want to import, I say open. It'll go through the same process. I'm prompted with an option to either replace all data or just add the new data to the tables that I've created. In this instance, I'm just going to append the data and add the new data. Now back inside of SOLIDWORKS, after closing out the toolbox configuration tool, we're going to go ahead and start the whole wizard again. We'll go down to the size list, scroll down to the very bottom, and we see here's our new 312 hole that we've added. We can come in here and add this new hole. And it brings in all the necessary data that we need. I hope this new method will make it easier to create new hole sizes in the future. If you want to learn more, please contact us at Go Engineer. Thank you for watching.